Francois-Marie Héroët, better known as Voltaire, became an illuminating voice during the French Enlightenment. Voltaire remains relevant even in contemporary times with his passionate advocacy of free speech and maintaining distinct separation between church and state. His barbed wit often overshadowed the unpopularity of his criticisms towards the Catholic Church and slavery, controversial issues during his era. He continually battled against the strict censorship policies of the Catholic French monarchy. His prolific writings elevated him professionally into a distinguished niche. He wrote plays, poems, novels, essays, histories, and scientific expositions. He is credited with writing in excess of 20,000 letters and 2,000 books and pamphlets. His longevity and the sheer volume of his production made him one of the first authors to become internationally successful. He spent 15 years living with Madame de Châtelet inside a 17th century palace on the northeastern periphery of the Ile Saint-Louis. His next home on the Rue Molière was shared with tragic actor Henri Lequin. His move was prompted by the death of his companion Madame du Châtelet. Voltaire served as a mentor and liberal protector for the aspiring performer at the Comédie Française. Lequin cultivated an admiring audience, including Louis XV. During his career, he would amass a considerable fortune. Voltaire's acclaim prompted frequent confrontation with religious and literary authorities. Over time, he maintained a habit of avoiding open public confrontation to concentrate on his writings. He traveled through Prussia in the early 1750s before being banned by King Louis XV in January 1754 from Paris. He relocated to Geneva where he bought a large estate. Soon afterwards, he bought an even more expansive estate in Fernay on the French side of the Franco-Swiss border. In early 1759, he published Candide, a satire on the prevalent philosophy of optimistic determinalism. His celebrated return to Paris came amidst the twilight of his life in February 1778. The house where he stayed was the residence of the Marquis de Villette, a gay friend, philosopher, and writer. Voltaire dressed in a habitual costume of dressing gown and nightcap. Crowds gathered around the house, hoping to catch a glimpse of the distinguished visitor. A steady stream of notable celebrities in literature, theater, and art paid homage to Voltaire with visitations. Villette received each and announced their respective names. Voltaire lasted seven weeks before his death on May 30th at the age of 84.